Today's video is inside. Back in the closet? What? Yeah. <laughs> Brian, what are you doing sitting in the corner? I'm going to see if I can put this generator under this bench in there. Okay. So before we had issues fitting all of our furniture the way we wanted to while incorporating the steam generator, and Brian had set up the steam generator inside the closet, but now he's thinking he could pop out a square of the drywall, insert the steam generator underneath the bench in the shower itself, and run it from there. Yes, that's exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> How do you go about a project like this? So I measured from the floor, shower floor to underneath the bench top, and there's plenty of clearance. So, plus there's another at least inch and a half of floor in the shower, so there should be plenty of room to get underneath. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut a hole and see what happens. Are you gonna make a little door? Like, has it like a cupboard? Yes, and if you uh, take a picture of that, the little cupboard doors I made in there, I'm gonna use that material. Oh yeah. The perforated uh, decorative metal. Yeah, the so screen that, metal. Yeah. So, so it'll have ventilation. So ventilation, exactly. So the other benefit of this is once we can place that steam generator out of the way, we can actually move the furniture so we can have our bigger set of drawers on the back wall, which was our original plan. And that will free up more room on the sides to hang stuff that a short person like me can reach without having to reach over the dresser like this. So I can kind of and get my clothes down. So you're extending your hole, looks like. Yes, I'm going to... Uh, I'll make two doors so you can access the whole plumbing setup. Just in case. Just in case. You need to get I'm, I'm going to have one door anyway, and I need to have a valve. I'd rather not have the valve right here, or I don't want it on the outside, so I don't want any of the plumbing to have to come outside in any way, so... If I can see it all, then uh, it'll be easier. So. What's the situation? Uh, looks all right. So I'll take this off. I can dremel that, cut that off. Put a new piece on there extend it out here this will go down pull that out and bring it back up over here 15 and three quarters so that whole apparatus will slide right through there i always have to line it up and see where the outlet comes what i'll probably end up using is just pex for the steam mm -hmm. then i can wrap it with insulation because it'll be easier to play with it mm. instead of soldering and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Make sure there's a couple connectors. Because we want to be able to disconnect <laughs> at least this part so that we can just slide the generator out if we needed to. Look at the directions and just see what the clearances are supposed to be and stuff. If there's a if there's one for like enough space or ventilation or something but you know with with the doors on it it should be okay I would think if I had to I could put another door on the other side just so that there's air going all the way through it oh you go into the toilet area oh okay I could put just a little oh a small vent a vent area mm-hmm I think I probably will do that put a vent in there so the air goes all the way through mm -hmm. Cause that, that would be easy to hide. I mean, it's just a thing in the wall. So. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> Mm. 
से Well, I missed the whole excitement of you putting that giant machine yeah. in the hole. <laughs> I know. That seemed good. I, th I think it needs a, a vent fan. I think it'll be easy to uh, just get a, a really low CFM fan connected to the light switch. Mm -hmm. So every time you turn the light switch on, it's blowing air through it. Yeah. So, because we'll just we'll put the fan now in the toilet area. Oh. It'll be down by down in the wall behind the toilet okay you barely even see it mm -hmm. so it'll blow air through the whole space so if it's in that room it'll blow this way oh okay Got it. well here we are back in our corner of the sh of the closet and big mm -hmm. open hole now uh mm -hmm. where where are we leaving it at this point <laughs> a lots a lots going on here so i get the water supply line rerouted and plumbed in. So I've got the valve moved over here. <clears throat> it's got a, a standard water supply line that runs right in. So easily to re I can easily remove that. <clears throat> the last thing I've got to do is connect where the steam's going through. Um, I had to put some silicone in there to, to s solidify it in place. So I'm waiting for that to, to harden up before I start mashing with it with the a crimper tool so so once that's run then I'll have that uh, piped right in and I'll have a quick release on there so it'll be easy to, to disconnect it uh, and so it'll be easy to pull the whole unit out um, so to make it easy to work on mm -hmm. so so where do we have to go from here once once I get that piped in then I can start building uh, some doors for it 
Okay. Uh, so I have two doors on here that will open. This one should open, be able to open all the way without moving uh, any of the dressers. This one uh, could probably be able to open about this far um, without moving the dresser, but the dresser will be not fixed to the wall so we could slide it another um, good 10 inches over if, if you need to get in there. Mm -hmm. The other, you know, if you really need to pull the unit out, you can just pull the dresser out. So um, that's my thought on how we're doing this. The other thing we're doing is we're going to put a, because it's, it's a pretty tight space in there, and it's supposed to have a certain amount of clearance all the way around, uh, I'm going to put a exhaust, a, a low CFM exhaust fan in where the toilet is, down behind by the wall, so you can, you really won't see it very much, but when you turn the, the light on for the shower, that fan will automatically come on. Okay. So... Um, Okay. And it'll blow air through into the into the closet. So, because this these doors will be a, a perforated uh, decorative metal, and so there'll be plenty of uh, airflow to help cooling the uh, the generator. So. And it's only going to be running the fan while you're using the steam generator, not constantly. Uh, it'll be on anytime you turn the light on for the shower. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So uh, originally, I was going to try and hook the the, there is a light connector uh, for the steam generator, but it's a uh, 12 volt AC 3 watt light. Uh, tr it's a transformer that well, that's all it puts out. So I wasn't able. I, I started looking. I couldn't find a, a fan with that kind of a. Um, you know, it's like a computer fan. It's really small. <laughs> mm -hmm. So. Um, I thought we just connected to the light switch for the shower, so it doesn't matter. It's going to be really quiet anyway because we can barely hear the one that we have that's higher CFM than that, so it's just enough to blow some air in there. Mm -hmm. So it should be good. Cool. So we might have a steam shower soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be, can't wait to use it. Yeah, well, we've got no doors. <laughs> we'll get at least see what it's like yeah, yeah, and yeah. then then get a door because we like yeah. it so much. Right, exactly. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> All right. So. And then I hope you guys enjoyed that moose footage. I'll, I'll pop on a little bit more at the end so you can enjoy it. That moose family was hanging around all weekend. We couldn't even go outside because no. with Vigo because it was they were right there at the door. It's the closest I've ever been. Although I was safe because I was like right on the yeah, right but, inside the door. Like a walk Vigo on a leash instead yeah. of just letting them out. So but they were right by the steps there. I just zoomed right in and uh, it was pretty fun. They definitely yeah. ate up the rest of the wildflowers right. and Chomp, chomping down the new landscaping. I did. Yeah, walking all along the retaining wall. I think there. they like that little pathway now. Yeah, yeah. So gets right to the wildflowers. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll keep you posted and uh, stay tuned for that moose footage. We'll see you next time. All right, bye bye.